Now the man from Buttonwilla Ne'er had much to say He spun his way into our hearts On a rotating high display He's the man He's the man He's the man He's the man From Buttonwilla Button Willow, tall boots and dungarees. He's got diesel in his veins and metal in his knees. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man. He's the man from Button Willow. Talk about how the man once saved Button Willow from the Great Twister of 49. It's unclear though how he might could have done that, cause he was just a babe at the time, and anyhow, how's that even possible? Probably just folks talking nonsense the way they do. But what is clear is that he liked pie, and crossword puzzles, and baseball, and 70s sitcom themes, and those little Chinese finger traps that you get at gag shops and hair products. The man had great hair. Even in his twilight years, he had expertly coiffed hair. No one knows for sure how old the man is. Not a young man, I reckon, nope. But you could tell from his thousand mile stare that he'd seen it all. He'd seen it all from the weather-beaten front porch, looking out across the donut grease and diesel fumes of a little town called Button Willow 